hey guys welcome back to my channel so i am about to go out and get my groceries um to go and pick up my groceries well buy my groceries pretty much and um i've been out oh i forgot to uh jot down that i need water as well so i have my little grocery list right here i usually put it um by my fridge right there that way i know like what i am out of and what i need to buy so i'm just gonna rip this off sometimes i also jot it down on my phone as well just because it's easier because i'm always on my phone but i know i need to shave my beard y'all i need to wax my beard anyways i just got home from work not too long ago and um yeah, I need to do some grocery shopping because I am out of food, pretty much. Food into my system. Man, my boobs look look huge. What happened? I think I'm gaining weight. Probably gaining weight. Anyways, I also noticed like um, the bras that I wear they used to be padded and um, right now I'm wearing, I am wearing um, a non-padded bra by Tom Ford and um, it has no wires because I noticed like the bras that I have from Victoria's Secret with the wires, they gave me like, I don't know if any of y'all females have experienced this, but they give me like a dark discoloration on the bottom of my boobs. Uh, Anyways, that's too much information for y'all, maybe, for the dudes out there but um, who watch my channel. But anyways, yeah, I switched to wearing non-padded bra. bra. <laughs> I switched to wearing non-padded bras as well as um, no wires as well. I prefer no wires, to be honest, because they hurt and they can get, they can discolor your um they can discolor your boobs so that's a no-no hey guys so i am back from my grocery shopping and i have a whole bunch of groceries i don't think i'm going to show you guys everything but for the most part i'm gonna go first i'm gonna go downstairs i'm gonna get the guys over here Actually, I ended up changing again because um, I wanted a different top. So I actually stopped by Lululemon to get me this, this, um, I guess, what do you call this? How would you call this? Jacket, like a sports wear attire. Um, it's the same one that I have in orange or like, yeah, orange color and excuse my boobies they are growing because i am gaining weight so with me when i gain weight i gain weight everywhere face neck back of my neck cheeks double chin boobs stomach arms i'm telling y'all i gain weight everywhere so and but i'm actually loving like how i'm looking like let me see if there's even much of a difference but i'm just wearing my regular joggers that i usually wear all the time whenever i'm running errands and i got these from i believe zara and then i have an undershirt underneath and my lululemon jacket and um, I zipped it all the way up because this is too much. It's too much. Why? <laughs> so I just zip it. And then plus it's also a little bit cold here in LA at, at nighttime. So I'd rather be nice and warm. And also, you know, comfortable at the same time. And then, <coughs> sorry. So I'm wearing all black. I actually wanted to get this um top in black but they didn't have it but i also ended up purchasing this 
Lululemon um, hat. <laughs> and what I like about it is because it has, it's like cloth. So, I don't know. It doesn't make your head look extra bulky than what it is. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyways, let us go downstairs and get these groceries. I came upstairs and got these uh, groceries over here but these are not enough I mean these are not this is not everything so let me go ahead and go downstairs and get the rest of the stuff and then I also have to put dishes in the dishwasher because it has accumulated y'all don't judge me okay I work I work a lot so there goes that okay do not judge usually my apartment is clean okay it's usually clean most of the time it's just you know during the week when I work um, you know it gets a little messy because I take food home I mean sorry I cook food and I also like you know um, I hope my sauces did not no 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 please please don't tell me my sauces opened oh okay so I got some bourbon sauce from Whole Foods it's gonna go so well with my um my salmon and then I also have teriyaki sauce over here as well ah uh, that'll go on top of my salmon and the I guess at the Whole Foods store where they usually like make the meat and stuff like cut the meat and whatnot uh the person who was you know helping me out he gave me these for free so that's so sweet of him god bless god bless his heart alex god bless your heart i don't know if you're ever gonna watch this but i'm just saying All right, and I'm also drinking my water. Um, my essential water, it has electrolytes in it, so. Oh my God, you guys. I just cleaned up my apartment, like four days ago, so. Before the weekend, I cleaned up my apartment. Tell me why it's dirty again, y'all. Living alone. And living alone is no joke. You need you need somebody to help you out with things. But anyways, let's go ahead and get oh I'm forgetting the main thing. I'm forgetting the cart. So I usually put my groceries in the car and then I put it in this cart shopping cart to bring it upstairs this is very useful if you live alone and if you live in a high-rise apartment it comes in it comes really good and handy okay so don't say that i don't hook you guys up because this right here is a lifesaver you can fit a whole bunch of things in here like all my groceries and stuff even some of my home shoppings baby this helps me out a lot Anyways, so let's go. Let us get this groceries in. Guys, I bought a lot, a lot of food, especially like protein and carbs. Well, not too much carbs, but protein. I got fish, no steak. I didn't buy red meat, thank God. Uh, no red meat and so I got fish chicken and that's it yeah just fish and chicken yeah i'm trying to gain healthy weight not unhealthy weight so but i do have some unhealthy stuff as well which i will show you guys for sure for sure I'm just close the door
what I'm working with. I know it's not the best, but it'll do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and walk upstairs and then I will show you guys all these groceries, okay? Y'all see, this will last me for at least a week or two, most likely two, two weeks. So. All right, you guys, so I made it upstairs and I am tired I'm trying to unpack these foods. So this is all I got so far. This is all my protein section. So we got some chicken, some more chicken. Uh, I think this are chicken breasts. Some chicken, no, chicken thighs. <laughs> chicken thighs and um, chicken breast, I believe as well. And then two more chicken breasts in different flavors. Then got some fish. Um, we got sea bass, uh, coconut shrimp. What is this? Oh, and tuna as well. And um, on the bottom here, I have some steak, but these are some leftover steak from previously. And then I have some more fish over here, some salmon. They already like um, marinated it, I guess, or seasoned it. This is sweet bourbon marinated salmon. And then the one on the bottom here is, I believe, teriyaki salmon teriyaki and then i have some crab no not crab is it crab crab cakes there you go i got some crab cakes over here i already opened it <laughs> but yeah and then i have regular veggies as some kale um cilantro like i said onions like how i wrote down some more fruits over here I have some mangoes avocado um, and then the bottom here I have some oranges and then I um, got a cabbage over here the purple cabbage cauliflower some potatoes pineapple some more cauliflower some asparagus like how I wrote on my shopping list and then for carbs I have just bread um, cottage cottage bread and I believe this is what cranberry something um, cranberry pecan leaf loaf I said leaf yeah um, I can't wait to taste this can't wait and then I have some more <laughs> um, some more stuff over here don't mind my waters and whatnot so here I have some teriyaki sauce and then on the bottom here I have some bourbon sauce as well right there that um, I received from Whole Foods the person who helped me out um, gave me these for free so that's good and I have some eggs which I already put in the fridge some pasta for more carbs more bread and then over here I have some frozen fruits we got some frozen cherries and berries blend. This is some uh, potato puffs. Some passion fruit tropical blend. Here I have a uh, watermelon. This is just like heavy whipping cream for my sauces and stuff. Um, and then I have some basil pes pesto. And some more snacks and more bread. Why did I buy this? Oh, this is garlic bread why I bought this uh, it's garlic bread from Target there you go and you guys I need to get my nails done as well don't judge and then I bought some more balsamic vinegar because I was out for my dressing got my toothpaste I did forget to buy a toothbrush but I already have my uh, my old one and then I got this um, Olay body shower gel some Snickers and chocolate for my cheat meal, I guess. Some more pesto for pasta. Some tartar sauce for um, the tuna. The tuna and also for the salmon, the crab legs, all that good stuff. Oh, all that good stuff that I bought. And then some more pesto. This is pesto with garlic. I don't know why I bought so many pesto slices but anyways 
it's not zooming in there you go i mean focusing and yeah that's about it for groceries and then so now i made some space so i'm gonna organize and put them in there and also i have some more cheats cheat meal stuff some ice cream I can dust mini, I believe they're called. No, these are Mac and minis. And then this is Hagen dust uh, vanilla bean. Vanilla bean flavor. This is also vanilla bean. Vanilla bean. Vanilla bean. Vanilla bean. And then some triple berry blend for my smoothies. And then here I have some mango strawberry blend as well for my smoothies. And that's about it. I bought this guacamole here and I really don't like it that much because they put too much jalapeno and it's very spicy. It says mild but it's not mild. Trust. It's spicy. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and um, finish putting my groceries up and then I'm gonna go to sleep because I have work tomorrow my hair is looking goofy but anyways I have work tomorrow morning so I gotta go to sleep and wake up in the morning we'll go to work and um, yeah with that being said I guess I'll catch you guys later because I'll see you guys another day and um, yeah all right toodles Hey guys, so uh, I just came back from uh, shopping like little essentials. Let me take off my jacket because it is hot, super hot. Excuse the no lighting up here. Let me turn this on. Okay, I hope you got. Yeah, I hope you can see me now. But anyways, I just came from. Whole Foods and Target and uh, the doctors. I had a lot of um, errands to run today. So I went to my doctors, my primary doctor, because I have not, I have not seen a primary doctor for years, like since I was a child. Yeah, that's the last time I actually went and got like a physical exam done. So, um, <clears throat> yeah i mean that's pretty much what i've been doing all day today uh when i woke up i didn't even have breakfast because they told me i can't eat i have to fast for 24 hours so the last meal i had was last night at like 10 30 11 p.m ish and um i was so hungry when i went to the doctors but anyways they took some blood work and all that and um Hopefully, I am good to go. I'm healthy. Um, for the phys physical exam part, the doctor told me that I'm fine. Um, everything looks perfect. Every everything looks normal. You know, my um, <clears throat> my blood pressure is normal. My pulse is normal. Um, my movements are normal. All that good jazz. So the only thing that I uh, they're gonna be waiting for and I'm gonna be waiting for is my blood work so because they did withdraw some blood on this arm I took the bandage out already but it's a little red over here, over here. but keep uh, fist on yeah all right deep breath okay you can relax right now. Oh, my. that's it That's a good one. <laughs> Damn, all that.
I like seeing when somebody withdraws blood from me, like when a doctor withdraws blood. Um, that, that pinch feeling on there, on the vein, I don't know, it kind of feels good to me. I don't know, it's kind of like a massage. <laughs> I know, it's a little weird. But anyways, um, yeah, if you guys don't like seeing blood withdrawn, then skip the part, the part of this video out. And um, yeah, that's pretty much what, what's what I have to say about that anyways and then after that so after I got from the doctor's office um, I went straight to go and eat so I went and had chick-fil-a yep my first my first cheat meal for I think for the year yeah I don't think I've had fast food this whole year until today yeah pretty cool anyways and then i went to um target and hope yep and then after that i sorry my camera cut off after that i went to um target and whole foods sorry my underarm i also booked an appointment for my wax appointment uh which is going to be next week actually when i'm off next week wednesday thursday is when i'm going to go and get my my arms waxed my hoo-ha brazilian front and back you know how i do but yeah i'm gonna go and get that waxed um next week so it's not that bad but it's bad for me anyways as you guys can see i'm getting i'm gaining some weight i went to the doctors and they weighed me i was 122 pounds so i am getting a little chunky yeah which is a good thing because I will eventually tell you guys the reason why I'm gaining weight um, in the upcoming vlogs, videos. So, yeah, stay tuned to know the secret of the reason why I'm gaining weight. Anyways, um, but yeah, I just quickly want to show you guys what I got um, from Target. Um, I actually got some groceries as, as well as this iRobot thing. This iRobot vacuum because honestly... So this is how it looks like. It's just a regular iRobot. It was actually on sale. That's the reason why I got it. That's the reason why I purchased it. So usually they run about, I think usually they're like one, no, like $2.99 or something. And I got it for $1.79 on the, um, on the sale. So let's see. How this works so the actual reason why i got it is because my floor gets super super dirty you know like super dirty so i also ordered a mop from amazon which should arrive sometime i don't know when it's not weird anyways let's see Ooh, I almost dropped it. Y'all saw that? I almost dropped this bad boy. This thing needs batteries. Oh, what, what is going on here? Okay. So so far, this is how it looks like. That's how it looks like from the bottom. Then this is how it looks like from the front. I don't know how to make it work, but I'm gonna figure it out right now. Let's see. What's up? Oh 
charges for three hours what bro oh, okay let's try okay guys so i kind of managed um so i figured it out it has to actually get fully charged so ooh, sorry so I pretty much had to connect the adapter over here, the charging thingy. Don't mind my bottles. But yeah, just had to connect that so that it can charge. And as you guys can see, batteries are low. So it's just charging right now. And um, yeah, let's see what happens after that. I will keep you guys updated with my iRobot shenanigans <laughs> yeah I'll keep you guys updated on that but yeah this is actually gonna come in real handy because my apartment when it gets dusty I don't know why I don't know whether it's the area that I'm living at or what it is even my balcony gets super dusty as well. I don't know what the heck. I think that's the downfall of living in this apartment. But hopefully the, the iRobot will do it. I also do have a vacuum as well. But do I want to vacuum every day? No. So that's why I got the iRobot. And I'm glad I went there today because it was a sale. Was on sale. I got it on sale. Boom, boom, boom. Got it done. Also, another thing <laughs> while we are in the um, kitchen or house, house stuff, um, I also went and bought a Ninja blender, a blender, because the old one that I had was trash. That thing was trash. I bought it from Walmart and it was like, I don't know. Twenty dollars or something, and it barely made my smoothies right. But yeah, so this is my Ninja. It is the Ninja um, Professional Plus Blender with Auto IQ. So it works wonders. I've already made my smoothie in here, and I'm gonna make a smoothie later on using what I'm using actually to now gain weight i don't know if it's really working because i've also used a pitamin as well so i don't know whether it's the combination of both or it's just the pitamin but oh, my bread fell but yeah i also incorporate uh, maca root into my smoothies as well just to help me gain some weight because with me i don't gain weight that quickly by myself if i don't have any type of like protein shakes or like um weight gain supplies or helpers it's very hard for me to gain weight so anyways I'm gonna go downstairs again and get some of my groceries out the car and then also bring my water up because I've been waterless for like a couple of days now because I left my water Sorry, I'm just snacking on some rice. <laughs> but yeah, I left my water in the car. So, yeah. So let me show you guys what I got from Whole Foods real quick. This is actually a very quick buy got some tomato sauce for my gnocchi nochi noki i don't know how you pronounce it but i got some tomato 
uh, sauce for it. But I'll be making no gnocchi later on with um, salmon. And also got some all-purpose flour as well, especially like for baking and whatnot. Then I picked up some blueberries because I'm going to make some blueberry muffins uh, for the morning for breakfast whenever I have time. Then I also picked up this milk chocolate um, milk chocolate chip chocolates um, to either make cookies or to make a cake, bake a cake. Then I also picked up salmon as well to go with my food, uh, to go with my gnocchi. I also have brie cheese. I don't eat cheese every day, but once in a blue moon, uh, I'll dabble on some cheese. So I got that. And I got these gnocchi, gnocchi um, packets from Whole Foods. I only shop groceries are for Whole Foods because they're organic and I just like Whole Foods. So it's like Whole Foods and Target. When I'm in Miami, it's Publix and Whole Foods. But anyways, I got this kind. This is the uh, traditional Italian dumplings paired with a zesty tomato sauce that combines fine ripe, ripened tomatoes, mozzarella cheese, garlic, herbs, and chill pepper. So I got that one. That's not the one that I'm going to use today. I don't think so. And then I also got this kind, which is like the same kind, just a different flavor. And these are traditional Italian dumplings paired with a bold cream sauce that combines the delicious flavors of gor gorgonzola, guana padono, pecorino, romano, and mozzarella. I think these are the ones that I'm going to use and add my own tomato paste on it. Okay, so. so that's what I'm eating for dinner tonight. I got two packets. And then I also picked up maple syrup for my pancakes and some vanilla extract for my cake. For my cake that I'm gonna bake at some point. If you guys don't, if you guys are OG, you remember back in 2020 during the panoramic. <laughs> But during the pandemic, um, right when like COVID had hit, um, I went into like baking mode and I was just baking it up in the kitchen at my mama's house. And um, yeah, and since now, sometimes I'll be craving like some sweet stuff. So why not? Might as well make your own, make your own cakes out here. So that's what I'm going to do. And um and then I'm going to like add the chocolate on there and put some uh, strawberries, not strawberries, blueberries on top. I just have too much planned in such little time. Anyway, so that's that. That's all I got from Whole Foods. Hey y'all, so I just put my hair up, well, in a ponytail. I am on my way to go on here go and get my hair braided um i also received this new coffee table right here well coffee table book time forward so this is where i have my hair y'all i'm sorry i'm all over the place but um i gotta go so i will chit chat with you guys and ca uh, catch you guys up once i get to the car so i will see you guys bye All right, y'all, so I'm in the car, as y'all can see, obviously, but I am rushing to go to my hair appointment. Oh, Lord. Anyway, so little updates. Um, let's start off with my job, first of all. So my job is going pretty good, but um, I've been sent on a um, work assignment type of thing or work travel on duty um, work and in te uh, to Texas 
and um, everything is kind of like just last minute everything is last minute type a deal so ooh, it's bright but yeah everything pretty much is last minute deal and um, today is Friday June 17th is it yep Friday June 17th and I'm supposed to fly out on Sunday June 19th and I haven't packed yet because I was waiting on like my travel what is well, travel information and things like that so um, yeah and I work tomorrow as well go figure so um, I still have to pack I still have to pack my um, my bags my work clothes all the other stuff because I'm there for a while more than 30 days so but it's totally exciting I can't wait um so that's one of the good updates um I hope I'm gonna make it to my hair appointment because I don't know this lady has not texted me back I told her I was gonna I was running late but she's not saying anything let me call her because I'm concerned Wow. Anyways, um, yeah. So that's that's that. I hope I get to get to do my hair by today because today is the only day I have left. This is the last day. To get my hair done also I got a new phone case as well oh, hello hi I'm, yes um, so I don't know if you got my text but I'm running a little late there's like slight traffic out here that's fine okay take your time okay Oh, all right, thanks. Um, I'll call you when I'm like about five minutes or because I don't know where the place is. Okay, and then there's free parking in the um, alleyway. When you get here, you can call oh. me. Oh, perfect. Okay, thank you. <laughs> all right, you're welcome. Bye. Okay, bye. Oh, as y'all heard, she answered. She called me back. Your girl is getting her hair done. I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited because I've been walking around. Oh, it's my turn. All these, all this talking. I missed my turn when I was supposed to go. Crap. <laughs> Anyways, um, she did say take my time, so I still have to actually stop by the bank and withdraw cash out to give to her because she only accepts cash. Which I kind of understand a bit as well because sometimes with credit card transactions or like debit card transactions, sometimes you know it delays your pay and whatnot. So, totally get what where she's coming from, but yeah, so I'm gonna go and get her cash. She's charging me 260 because she's adding hair as well, like she wants. She wants to braid my hair with her own hair. Whereas, okay, so this is the backstory. Let me, let me get to it. So yesterday, I received my, this is all like in conjunction or like this all correlates or puts into perspective of what I'm going through, okay? The stress that I'm going through. So pretty much um, what happened was I received my, I received a call from my job 
on Tuesday that told me that I'm scheduled to um, to leave Sunday for the travel work assignment thing, right? So they switched my dates around, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Well, not dates. They switched my locations around a couple of times, which is fine. Okay, I understand. But because everything like goes in with seniority levels and whatever, all that. So now the work part thing is all behind whatever right like everything is sorted out so now it comes to yesterday yesterday was june 16th thursday june 16th so yesterday i end up calling this um this hair braider or yeah this hairstylist who uh specifies in um braiding like box braids knotless braids all types of braids right and me I wanted um, I wanted actually like a hairstyle that I had before last year in the summer I will insert the picture right here so you guys know what I'm talking about um, that's the hairstyle that I wanted and I got that hairstyle done in Miami and in Miami they charged me like 270 something so I guess because they were knotless braids they were short like a uh, it was a, a bob short bob knotless braids um that she did on me and i believe i paid 275 if not 265 one of those two so anyways long story short i end up finding i google on on um on my phone um because now i'm kind of like in a rush because i'm supposed to leave um, to go to work on Sunday June 19th so um, I find this hair braider online and I call her and I ask her does she does she do these type of braids I should do like short bobs styles and uh, she said yes sorry y'all I shaved I don't know why I shaved why mm, I should not have shaved Yes, I shaved my, my chin and now it's itchy. Mm. I should have just gone ahead and um, uh, plucked it like how I usually pluck it. Anyways, sorry I got sidetracked a bit. I'm supposed to go in here. Oh my god! Come on. Be quiet. Alright. So, um, where was I? I found the lady. I called her. She said, yeah, she's specific. She can do that kind of hairstyle. So, then she tells me, um, my appointment is for today, which is June 17th, Friday. Friday, June 17th. Oh, these places look nice. These apartment buildings over here. Oh, maybe I should come and live here once my lease is up. Those are some nice apartments. Anyways, um, so what had happened was, um, yeah, she told she booked my appointment for tomorrow for 3 p.m. and then she told me um, this is the type of hair that she uses. Let me show you guys. This is the type of hair that she uses and. Um, it, I bought it in, uh, in the color one, um, so like jet black, and it's from the Rastafari collection, and um, this is not pre-stretched very much. So now, she told me that I will need four packs of hair. I bought six packs of hair just in case, you know, something goes wrong, and she needs, she runs out of hair, etc., etc. So I bought six packs. Tell me why. Tell me why today at 11 or 12 p.m. she calls me to tell me my appointment is canceled because they're short staffed. The lady who's supposed to do my hair today at 3 p.m. she is not going to be able to do it. And I'm like, you couldn't figure that out yesterday? Like, before you you made me go out and buy hair and you know make arrangements and etc etc you couldn't do that 
so anyways then she ends up telling me that oh I can reschedule you for either tomorrow or Sunday so tomorrow I work I work pretty much almost like the whole day and then Sunday I'm not gonna be here my flight is at 9 o'clock in the morning so there goes that so I told her you know like yeah it's not gonna work for me um, sorry but the rescheduling is not gonna happen and um, but I was kind of bummed out because it's like you already know like you, you're supposed to know who you have who you have um, you know who you have like staffed in your in your salon and and make sure that that person is going to be there. And the stylist that was supposed to do my hair, I guess someone knew. Yeah, the stylist that was supposed to do my hair, she was on the phone while the lady was... No, sorry. She was there when the lady had called me to tell me about the cancellation appointment. So she... The lady who was supposed to do my hair, I could overhear her because the lady was asking her if I could come in tomorrow and if I were if I were to come in tomorrow at what time etc etc what time would she be available so but it's like you already knew what clients you have or clientele you have and um, yeah you already knew what kind of clients you have like who is supposed to be coming in tomorrow etc etc and you book around that schedule right so I guess I don't know what happened to, to her schedule yesterday to today I don't know what happened so she just pretty much told me it's cancelled so since it was like last minute cancellation um, I had to find my own my own way to get my hair braided before I leave to Texas on Sunday so again I went on uh, my little friend Google and uh, tapped in some tapped in like hair braiders in Los Angeles Hollywood area and then um, no, no no sorry I typed in uh, hair braiding box braids hair braids something like that something to that extent um, in the Los Angeles area and then it popped up a whole bunch of you know salons or whatever so I just kept calling and calling and whoever answered was gonna get this money who didn't answer sorry y'all so I called like maybe about three or four of them before one of them answered and then one of them answered and she sounded like as if she just woke up or something and she had like children in the background yeah crying I don't know what what was going on so and then she asked me to send a picture of the type of hairstyle I want so I sent a picture she did not respond until two hours later I'm not gonna sit here and wait for you to respond back to me it's supposed to be if you want money wrap it up so she took too long and then I kept calling other ones and then that's when I ended up with this hairstylist that I'm going to now so she lives in Glendale area her salon is in the Glendale area so that's where I'm going to now and there's major traffic um, to there so hopefully hopefully it works itself out I don't um, I mean I end up liking the the braids I sent her picture she says she can definitely do it and um, yeah hopefully once it, when it comes out looking good I will link her <laughs> information down below and um, if you are in the downtown LA area or sorry if you are in the Los Angeles area then you can you know go to her hopefully fingers crossed it, it comes out looking good so that's the little rant right there and um, the reason why I'm trying to get my hair braided is because I don't want to bother with my hair like I've been out of a wig and things like that out of lace wigs out of um, any any type of extensions for the past 
month and a half because I needed to give my hair a break pretty much so I've been wearing my hair in a ponytail every day so that's pretty much what has been happening lately and I want to get my hair braided because like I said I don't want to bother with it so my brother is texting I don't want to bother with it once I'm out there in Texas and also it's going to be very very hot in Texas it's humid slash dry heat at the same time like 90 90 something degrees 96 degrees outside so I'm going to be sweating bullets and I don't want to you know worry about my hair um, when I'm out there so I'm going to be gone for 60 days come back August 17th so right so right now I'm just driving I have to stop by the bank shortly so I'll stop by the bank once I get to that area and whatnot so anyways I will catch you guys once I get there and um, yeah we're gonna, we gonna chit chat I believe it's going to take like maybe, how long? She said like three, four hours for her to uh, finish the hair. So pretty much the whole day is going to be gone. The rest of the night is going to be, will be out there. So yeah, like I said, I will catch you guys. Um, yeah, we'll catch you guys later once I get to the salon. Hey guys, Ooh, it's been a minute. Hey guys, so it's been a minute since I've been here. <sighs> yeah, chaos. So this, I don't know where I left off in the videos and whatnot, but this is the end result of my hair braiding that I went to in LA. Um, excuse the background, Leo is crying. I ended up getting a dog. If you don't follow me, a lot of a lot of stuff has changed. So I ended up getting a dog maybe three weeks ago. And um, right now I'm also in a hotel. It's a lot to explain, okay? But anyway, so this is Leo right there. He's crying because we're about to leave and he doesn't want to come out there he doesn't want to be inside the kennel but he has to be right now because he'll be all over the place anywho that being said we're on our way to go and get um the car so i am currently wearing very simple things my skims leggings and i have gained weight in the past three months I am now at 130 pounds. I'm gaining weight for a reason, like I told you guys before. And that's how I'm looking like, like a snack. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but anyways, so that's all I'm wearing. I'm very sporty. And then this is Leah right here. I know the place is messy. But I put the um, wet pads on the floor. And he just went ham on it when I was gone to work. So that is him. He's a Yorkie Terrier. He is five months old. And, um, yeah. Let's get him out. Come on, baby. Come on. 
and then he automatically always does this so you can get comfortable put your leg over like that so I am flying out my place is a mess <laughs> my hotel room is a mess mess but anyways I'm flying out in about six days no not six days in about almost two weeks like 11 12 days or so I'm flying out going back to LA my my um, stay here is done um, the 60 days that I was here for work uh, here in McAllen Texas is done and I am ready to go home um, supposed to go home August 17th today is August 4th yeah today is August 4th you see now he's quiet <laughs> he just wants to be with mommy all the time don't you baby don't you honey hmm anyways y'all so like I said so I called American Airlines to add my dog into the flight and they told me that I needed to purchase a carrier so this is the carrier that I have sorry yeah this is the carrier that I got not too long ago like maybe two three days ago and I'm, I'm, I'm going to unpack it for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like let me put Lee on the table here because he's going to cry. So it came with this, um, Leo get off. It came with this tennis ball right here for free. I guess when you purchase um, the carrier it comes with the, with the tennis ball for free. And then, so this is what it looks like. Leo. Oh my God, this dog. This dog be doing the most. I'm gonna put him down. Let me put him down. Oh. Okay. And then when I put him down, he always wants to be all up on me all the time. Anyway, so this is how it looks like. Straight from the package. I had opened it up because I was curious to know what it looks like. But anyways. So this is it this is how it looks like from the picture I wanted to purchase this color right here but then I thought mm, it's gonna get dirty very quickly and Lee will be pooping all over the place so and peeing and whatnot and I don't feel like cleaning it up all the time and whatnot so I got the black one and this is it it's just a regular carrier <laughs> And then it looks like Leo is on the picture to be honest because that's the same color that Leo is. Look at him. That's the same color that he is. Aren't you baby? Hmm? Aren't you honey? Alright. Anyways. Uh, long story short. So now... All right, so like I said, um, we are going to go and pick up the car. I don't have a rental; they didn't provide me with a, with a rental, so it's been a very, very frustrating, frustrating time here in McAllen. Like I haven't been going anywhere for the past sixty days that I've been here. I have Ubered everywhere that I needed to go, pretty much, like outside of work. Of Ubered and it's annoying it gets pricey and whatnot but so I'm gonna get a car for the for the next I guess couple of days until I leave um, because I have like a four day weekend four day off day coming up and I want to go to San Pedro Island so I think I'm gonna do that with the car but anyway so I also got this this carrier here for Leo whenever like I go out to a store or something um, he can come with me and that's what I'm gonna put on right now let me show you guys how it, how it works I guess now since I'm a dog mom Leo always wants to be with me all the time I named him Leo because he looks like a lion to me like when I got him I'm gonna insert like pictures 
um, how he looked like when I first got him. What's up, y'all? So, I got an addition to my family. My family and me, myself. And here he is. Hey. So, yes, this is him. It's a boy, as you can see, his pee pee's out. <laughs> He done already peed on me. Yeah, so he's very, very playful as of right now. I think he's like just super tired. He just wants to knock out. So he was sleeping in the Uber. I miss my car. I miss, I miss to go home and have my own place and whatnot. But I'm almost thirsty. It's your thirsty ass. It's been a long day, y'all. It's been a long day. It was four months when I got him. He's so tiny, like cute, tiny, tiny little, tiny little fella. So I just wrap it around my, my um, neck, my upper body. Up a torso and then um, it has this opening here I got this from Amazon it has this opening here and he fits right in there very comfortably and then here's a zipper if I need to put my wallet or whatever the case is on my phone I can do so so right now I'm going to put my driver's license as well as my credit cards in there because I'm going to use them obviously so let me go and put that in there and um, we also have to go to get my pedicure but that's not until like 4 p.m. what you doing on my booty yeah that's not until 4 p.m. so I'm just gonna put Leo in here And then <laughs> we have a lot a lot of things to do come on baby we have a lot of things to do because um i have to also like take my hair out as well and get ready for um next coming week what what do you have on your face baby hold on hold on leo stop stop moving always has these little fuzzies but yeah so we just gonna go ahead and order my Uber. Let me order my Uber. Where's my phone? My phone. So I can talk a little bit, chit chat for a second. Okay, so I ended up ordering um, or booking my my um, yeah, Leo. Booking my car um, rental with this. I guess this. App or website called Truo, called Turo. Sorry, yeah, booking it with Turo, and it's pretty much a little cheaper than uh, Enterprise or all these other um, rental companies, car rental companies. And um, I ended up booking a nice, uh, what do you call it? A cute, cause I'm bougie. Y'all know I'm bougie. I like nice things. And um, I always treat myself to nice things usually most of the time but anyways I ended up getting a Mercedes um, a white one a white sedan I don't know what kind what type it is let me see a 2017 Mercedes Benz CLA and um, I can't wait to go and pick it up so let me order my Uber real quick oh Leo stop biting me oh my god he's teething He's currently teething and like he bites everything and anything that he can put his his mouth on and I've had a lot of scratches and his bites in the beginning they weren't painful because he didn't really have teeth like that but now since the teeth are growing in when he bites he bites like it hurts so I bought him these um, these biting tools or biting kits 
this one it's also from amazon as well i also got um this bone i also got this bone right here as well also from amazon it comes like in a set and there's some other other ones there as well but oh my god it's always always biting something Leo, get in here. Stop. Stop with the foolishness. This dog will be getting annoying sometimes. It'll be annoying me to the fullest. Anywho. Yo, he bit me hard. That thing hurts. Anyways, let's go. Got my water bottle. Yeah, I'm looking crazy. I'm looking crazy. I can't wait to get this hair out. And when I get to LA, I'm gonna get my hair done as well. I'm getting a sew in. So this is us. This is how we're looking like. I don't know what I ate, but I feel like my stomach is gassy and bubbly. I hope I'm not gonna get diarrhea. Like <laughs> to be honest, I know that's too much information, but oh I had some IHOP for breakfast and I think it's it's running through me about to run through me I'm not sure I don't know anyways I'm kind of looking sort of cute kind of sort of not really no. That's us. right is here oh my god yeah I really think that my So oh, it's cramping. Oh, now I feel like I gotta take a shit. Mm -mm -mm. Let's just go and pick up this car and head out. Cause let's have to squeeze it in, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, it's gonna be a nope. Stop. Um, what, what, you know, what places to go, yeah. like, I don't know if you've gone there, like, where, like, there's certain, um, restaurants and hotels that they have, like, the buffet deals, or anything. Like yeah, so I was kind of doing that, but... In like, L.A.? <laughs> My car is here, y'all. This is silence. Hi. Good, yourself? Hi, nice, nice to meet, to meet you. you. <laughs> <laughs> So tomorrow when I drop it off at 9, is it here? Where no, we don't, we don't have to come here or wherever, wherever you're at. You're going oh, to be staying in the hotel. Oh, at the hotel, yeah. As long as it's, it's three minutes away. I just 